got down to our garage as you can see that the door is open and the padlock has been bolt cropped off which is not a good sign so let's just see if we've still got a car in there well the red dragon is still there which is one thing um you can see they've been in the boot of this car there's not really much to steal in the boot because we take most of the tools home with us engine hoist is still there the one valuable tool that i left here was my welder let's just see if our oh yeah I'm afraid our welding days are over the welder was just down here um let's hope that they didn't steal anything really valuable like a set of headlamps normally thieves wouldn't have any idea of the value of these things still got our vacuum cleaner over there so it could be an awful lot worse but um it's really annoying i see that they've taken this broken trolley down probably to move the welder strangely enough my um van got stolen last week as well and it was a really rusty old mazda bongo van and i just finished welding up the seams or at least on one side maybe they stole the van realized that the other side of the seam still needed welding <laughs> and stole the welder as well although they are in completely different parts of bristol ever since getting broken into i'm always slightly nervous when i come around here to see whether the padlock's still on there we've got a different style of padlock on there which makes it slightly difficult more difficult to get bolt coppers in but anybody who's ever seen any youtube channels like luck picking lawyer etc will realize that with the hydraulic and bolt croppers that can get through anything. All the videos I make on this channel are filmed on an iPhone and I've dropped that iPhone so many times that the screen has got multiple cracks. So I got myself down to the Apple store yesterday to see about getting a new phone or a new screen. And lo and behold, what did I come across? But the new Apple AirTags. Now since getting robbed, I've done some research into um, electronic tagging and GPS devices that would protect, say, this car if it ever got stolen, but more importantly, things like my welder, because I would really like to get that welder back. I've got used to using it, it was a gift from my father. I'm not saying this welder has sentimental value, but I would like to get it back. And what these devices are designed to do is help you locate something if you've lost it. The idea being you attach one to a key ring, and if you've lost your keys, um, you can turn find my device on on your iPhone and it will find your keys. Now that only works if you're in Bluetooth range, you know, 10, 20 meters from where you've lost the device. But these devices do so much more than that. Because just imagine for one second that you popped one of these devices into the ashtray of your car and somebody stole your car. You walk into the garage next day and find that your car is gone. What you can do is on your iPhone, put this device into lost mode. You put this device in lost mode, regardless of where your car is. Every time somebody with an iPhone or an iPad walks within 5, 10, 20 meters of this device, their iPhone or iPad will send out a little signal giving you the location of this device. Now these devices here are not specifically designed to track cars, you know, they're more for tracking items like keys. But the fact is, the game changer is, is that this is using the entire Apple network of phones and iPads and iMacs to help find your lost item. It's completely unlike the Tile which came out before it, which relied on other users with the Tile app on their phone anybody with an iphone whether you've got the itag app on it or not is going to send out a location of this device once it goes into lost mode and that may or may not help you track your car so all you need to do is decide where you're actually going to put that device now personally i wouldn't put it anywhere as simple as the ashtray or the glove box i'm going to i don't know hide this device somewhere where i'm not going to tell you in this car and see what hey that's the car sorted now what do we do with the rest of these? I have a couple of things in this garage. They're not particularly valuable, but they would be, I would be very annoyed if they were stolen because I use them all the time. One of them is my shop vacuum cleaner. Nice and easy to steal. 
probably sell that for five quid in a market somewhere. There are multiple places you could put one of these little tags. You could tape it to the inside. You could put it under here if you were worried about it getting dusty. You just tape it to the bottom with a little bit of silver tape so it's not obvious or black masking tape. I'd also be slightly upset if anyone stole these hydraulic car jacks, which we use to get an immobile car around this garage here. So I'm just going to hide one inside the mechanism here somewhere. And if anybody ever steals them, I hope I'll be able to retrieve them. We'll probably put one on our car hoist somewhere. Once again, these units do cost about $25 or £25 each, so there's no point in putting one on something that, you know, like a Black & Decker workmate here that you can probably pick up for £20. But this thing here is about £100 worth of kit. Plus, if you ever manage to find it using one of these trackers or tags, remember, you will actually get the tag back. Ever worried about somebody stealing your wheels? You can just take the centre cap off and glue or tape one of those to the centre of it. Now this particular car has these fond metal wheels on it here and to buy those new would cost you about £2,000 plus. So once again if you're worried about anybody stealing your wheels you just need to pop out the centre cap and glue one of those on the inside or tape it in. Now these little things take less than a minute to set up just Take the wrapper off, the plastic wrapper that activates the battery. Those batteries last about a year. Dead easy to change the battery. Just push that down and screw it. The batteries are only a few pounds each. So whatever you do, make sure you buy a good quality battery in a year's time or whenever it needs replacing. Each device will send your phone a little message when the battery is low. And the thing I quite like about these, it's a one-off expense. It's £100 for four of them. Slight bit of peace of mind when I walk down to the garage. You know, if somebody did steal a car or a little piece of equipment, part of me would actually be quite interested to see if I could track it. My favourite socket set, once again, present from my dad. Not overly expensive, but you know what? I'm just going to pop one underneath there. Anyone ever steals that socket set from the back of my car? I'd like to find out who it was and get it back. I drive away from my garage, even the doors open, and I managed to have some minimal protection. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about the AirTag, but just in case you haven't seen any of them, the AirTag, you can either buy one of them or four of them. If In the UK, if you buy four of them, they cost £100 for four. There's no monthly subscription or anything like that. All you have to do is to take that cover off. And as you take that cover off, it connects the battery, hold it next to your iPhone, and then it'll connect to your iPhone and it'll be linked to your Apple ID. Now the thing about these is they are so small and relatively inexpensive. So it's cheaper in the US, about $25 for that. In the UK, it's about £25 that I would like to use these to protect a number of my tools and valuable possessions that I keep in the garage. Now this is my DeWalt angle grinder and I was wondering whether I could actually place these inside power tools so that if somebody ever steals one of my tools, breaks into my garage or something like that, I could actually track with a power tool and hopefully get it back. Now these are just slightly too big to fit in there but it does make me think that in the future this technology is so relatively cheap now that in the future you may well have a company like Devault, Milwaukee or somebody like that actually going along to Apple and building a series of power tools that you can actually code to your phone so that you can track them wherever they are. Obviously, if you carry your power tools around in cases like this, it is very easy to put one of these in the cases and just conceal that, either with just a little bit of paper stuffed in there or a little bit of masking tape so people can't see that. Similarly, for things like this Dremel tool, it's, you know, several hundred pounds. Very simple matter just to get a scalpel and cut into that lining and just to hide that inside the lining. So if somebody ever did steal this, you'd be able to potentially get it back. There might be limited space inside some of those Devault power tools, but inside your garden tools, these will easily fit inside the spaces. Similarly, inside your lawnmower, this is a robotic lawnmower because we're far too busy <coughs> fixing cars 
um, to be able to have time to mow the lawn. But even inside the battery con compartment here, be dead, dead easy to slip one of those little things inside there unnoticed. There's plenty of places you could hide one of those if you wanted to track your lawnmower if it's ever stolen. Obviously those eye tags would be great for tracking a bike, either putting it inside the handle or taping it up inside here. But I want to show you something. What happens if your bike has already been stolen and you haven't got an eye tag on it? Here in the part of Bristol I live, it's a nice part of Bristol, but it's a hotbed for bike theft and students and people will often wake up in the morning and find that their bike is stolen. Now, the modus operandi or the way bike thieves operate where you live may be different, but here in Bristol, part of Bristol where I live, what will happen is a bike thief will cycle their own bike up to this part of Bristol, probably a stolen bike. They'll chain it to a post, sometimes they won't even bother chaining it to a post. And then what they'll do is they'll go and steal another bike. And some days later, they'll come back and pick up their... Obviously, you've got to be very careful if you tag a bike and follow it to find out where it goes, because, you know, a lot of people who steal bikes, etc., are not particularly savoury characters, but very often that bike will end up in the same place that your stolen bike ended up in. I'm going to leave this video here. I have actually done a test with these air tags, so I've got one in my car in lost mode and now every time somebody walks past my car which is nowhere near my house it's parked in a garage which isn't close by every time someone walks past that garage with an iphone or an ipad um, i get a little notification giving me the location of the car which is obviously in the garage and that shows up on a map exactly where it is so i imagine if somebody did steal that car or any of the equipment or tools that i've tagged the same thing would happen i would get a little notification um and hopefully be able to retrieve those items. These are not going to replace a GPS tracker with its own built-in SIM card that will give you the precise location, but similarly, these are relatively inexpensive. They don't have a monthly subscription. They're very small and easy to conceal, and if you've already got an iPhone, my experience is they work fantastically well. It's obviously really early days. Let's hope I don't get broken into or robbed again. But if I do, I shall certainly be keeping people up to date via this channel to see if I can actually retrieve those items. And meanwhile, I do have a little bit of peace of mind, which I didn't have before.